Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and today I'm going to be doing a mail call or a shout out to a fellow YouTuber who sent me this really awesome sake barrel or sake jar full of pater. Now this is from a fellow YouTuber, Ginger in Japan. His real name is Daniel, and he lives in Japan right now while he is stationed overseas in the Naval Fleet. Really great guy. He does some panning reviews as well, and he does them all in a sake barrel, which is really cool. He doesn't get to put out as many videos as I'm sure he would like or the rest of us would like, but he does always have to go back out onto those ships. So, he sent me this last Christmas, and I'm very late getting to it, but I'm always late with my mail calls. I'm always really late with my mail calls. But I figured I would do this one since I've been doing foreign painters, and while I don't think this is Japanese dirt, it's mostly probably his tailings from other reviews he's gone through. And he did ship it to me from Japan, and it is in a Japanese sake barrel with the little thing in the front. So I'm going to spin the camera around. We're going to go to my workstation behind me. As you can see, this is my new in the shed workstation. And I will give you all a tour of that later out once I've finished setting it all up and have it all fine tuned. Right now, a few things are still out of whack. The lights are still not working right. So, I'm going to turn around and we're going to start panning this out and see what we get. I'm going to probably classify it down, put some gloves on, classify it down. So, let's do that. So, let's spin it around and let's classify it down. All right. Got my pans, got the painter, put some gloves on, have my classifiers. But before I classify everything down, I do need to also show you that Daniel sent me these two things as well. They're, I guess, dinner spoons, or what we would call a dinner spoon. Little miniature shovels. I've seen some other YouTubers use these before. I will use this one for this video. I typically just use a little teaspoon, or I just pour it in there. But for this video, we'll use one. But let's get to the sake. Let's open up this barrel. Pour out some dirt. be pretty hard to rinse this one out but it is glass I don't see it doesn't look like anything would be trapped in there yeah, it's a pretty rounded bottom so there we go now I'm gonna let you listen to some music and I'm gonna classify this down there's gonna be a lot of music in this video so if you enjoy the music you'll enjoy this video so let's classify it down definitely steps its way down from plus 10 all the way to the minus 40 where the majority of it is in the minus 40 not much there's a little bit here but definitely steps down let's see if we put any magnetite in here to torch me with ah there's a lot of magnetite and that's a lot so there's a big old batch of magnetite to make this fun let's even check the heavier stuff and there's some in there as well i'll even check this stuff just to see Yep, I can hear it. You can hear it popping on there. So definitely a lot of magnetite in this pay dirt. I did see, as you can see here, there are some nice little minerals here. Hmm. It's always good. I did not see any gold in any of this. And maybe he's playing a prank on me and there's no gold in here, but I seriously doubt it. I'm pretty sure there's some gold. Actually, I see a little piece right there. So I do see some gold, but we're going to find out if there's any gold. Let's go pan this out and find out. And also let me know if you enjoy the lights better in this one. I have changed the lights above. Um, in the beginning part of this video was my old light setup. I'm not going to show you the new light setup, but there is something new at this part. So later on when I'm showing off the gold, we'll see if it makes a difference. But let's just get to the panning. All right, went and got some fresh water for this painter just to make sure in case it's uh, cloudy or anything like that. It's not due to some old painter. Got my pans. Um, I'll be using my 10 inch Martin prospecting pan. I, I, I know I shot a video a while back where I said I'd switch to the blue, 
But I decided to switch black back to the green for this one. I just prefer the green ones. For this part, when I do the fine stuff, I still go with the blue. But just in case I didn't put it in the camera, the blue stuff. And then I have a super sluice underneath. And as always, all the equipment I use, there are links down below. So just go down here and you will see links to whatever equipment I use. So let's get to this. Let's do the plus 10. See what we get. It's not too silty. Pretty nice stuff. Do see a little bit. Maybe some organics or two in there. But nothing. Some really nice. Um, I will pick through this afterwards to get any of these uh, minerals out. See if my son wants them. And I will also go back through this just in case I miss some gold like I just about did. Mm. There you go. Let's see if you can see that. I'll bring that up close to you. Just in case somebody's looking in the wrong spot. There you go. So, okay. That's a nice little, so that's a nice one. You should probably hear that one. See? You can actually hear that one. It's a nice little clinker. That one's a little clinker. That's a heavy little sucker. So I'm going to put this on the side. I'm going to pan this out really quick. Come back, cut, come back, and do the rest of the pay dirt. Now let's do the minus 10 plus 20. I'm going to go through all of it at once. You doing like And I apologize if I move the camera or the pan away from the camera. The way the lights are set up are set up for video purposes, not for panning. So it's making it a little difficult to pan. go some more gold minus 10 plus 20 all right there so I'm gonna cut again and let you why well, repan this out just to make sure because I do see one little piece right here I missed but I mostly want to make sure I didn't lose anything down here that looks about it. Really nice. And this is some really chunky gold. None of this stuff is flat. This is all really nice chunky. So it's really nice. I'm not going to complain at all. All right. Be right back again. Okay, time to knock out the minus 20 plus 40. And I'm only going to do a little bit of this at the time. Just because my lighting is so bad right now, I don't want to miss any because I did miss some in the last part. I actually only missed one piece, but it was a nice little piece. I will show you that in the end. But I'm going to let you all listen to some music because I'm going to probably have to fast forward this and the minus 40 later on. So let's listen to some music.
nice little pile up here as you can see. Hopefully, I'm not making too many shadows here. There you go. Nice little pile. I did see two pieces drop down here. I'll have to go get those. I'll cover those back. But other than that, really nice. I'm gonna clean this up really quick, pan this out again just to make sure I didn't miss anything, and then be right back with the minus 40. Well, down to nothing but the minus 40, so let's just start getting to that. We'll just do a little bit of this at a time since it does have some heavies in it. Make those heavies back in there. All right, and just because everything's gonna be fast forwarded again, if you see me dumping it, pouring this out, it's because I am dumping it. Once I get this down to the last bits, I'm dumping it in a side pan. And then I'll rework that all later. So let's listen to some more music. Let's listen to some more music while I pan this all down. pile of minus 40. Let me get this out of the light for you. So you can see a nice little pile. It still needs a little bit more cleanup and I still need to go back down through that and make sure I didn't miss any little pieces. I'm sure I did. But that's going to be it. I mean that was really cool. That was really cool. Really fun. And if everyone, anyone noticed, yes, I put my jet dry in one of these bottles. I just don't like the jet dry bottles. They kind of funk up really badly and they tend to tend to get more than one or two drops in it when that's all you need at that time so these I just cut this one down a little bit and I just use one of these a port in here and use one of these that way I can get it better at one little drop or two when I need it so I'm gonna be right back and we'll show you off the gold I found all right Finished panning everything out, and again, this was from the Japanese sake barrel that was sent to me by a fellow YouTuber, Daniel, over at Ginger in Japan. And as always, there will be a link to his channel below, so make sure you check it out. I will also put it in the very first comment and pin it so you can go check out his channel. He does painter reviews. He's a great family guy in the military, in the Navy, as a matter of fact, and, you know, always great to support military personnel so i'm glad to give him a shout out i want to thank him a lot for this gold this is awesome 
I sent him some pay dirt last year, so we're kind of even on the pay dirt, but I have some special stuff coming soon, and I'll talk about that in a second, but I'm going to send him something to make up for this gold. This is really cool of him. Well, let me show you some a nice close-up of it. So this is all the gold I found, and the plus 10 here, that one nice picker, and the minus 10 plus 20, and this one little wire piece right here is the one that eluded me the first time I panned it. I missed that one. And then we got the minus 20 plus 40. And of course the minus 40. As well as all these nice minerals that I'm sure my son will want to add to his collection. So really, really nice. Had a great time. And that's what was really important is I had some fun. I enjoyed panning that out. And now usually I would be giving away a 24 karat gold plated dime. And more specifically I'd be giving one away to Daniel over at Ginger in Japan. But I know he has one of mine. I think, in fact, he's got one or two of them, or two or three of them, because he is a Patreon member of mine, so I know I've sent him some. But like I was saying earlier, I do have something special coming. I have some special Miller Prospecting Dimes coming, and he will be the first recipient of one. So it's going to take me about a week or two to get them all, maybe three weeks, to get it all squared away. But Daniel... You will be getting another 24 karat gold plated dime in the mail. I don't need your address or anything, but you'll get it. When you get it, it's, I guess, like I said, two to three weeks, you'll be getting one in, and you'll know it's from me. It'll be a middle prospecting dime. It'll just be different than this one. But before I go, I do need to do some more Patreon shout outs. So I have, you know, always have new people joining, and which is really great. So let me give a couple of shout outs to a couple of Patreon members of mine, and not only some of them, but might as well give one to one of my older members, which is Daniel over at Ginger in Japan. Thank you very much. He is a Patreon member. Thank you very much for that. Then to some of my newest members, I have Timothy Rodriguez, Jody McCullough. I hope I didn't butcher that up. Paul Anderson and Alfred Gray. So all of you, thank you very much for joining my Patreon page. To everyone else, thanks for watching and happy panning.